Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are here to do a general read about love. To see where your energy is, please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me and got my six. Mean to have my back because I have yours. Going to pull from the uh, Destined Love Oracle and also the Love Situation. And I forget the name of this, this deck, but... I think it's the soul telling cards. I think that's what this is called, and I forget the name of this deck, but into it, uh, tarot as well. Um, just to get some energy about what you got going on when it comes to love, or just uh, situations when it comes to how you love yourself and loving on yourself or dealing with the love situation. Self-love is at the bottom of the deck, and we have betrayal also underneath there. Um, there could have been some type of betrayal in regards to uh, your frequencies uh, and the way that you see things, or deception, yeah. Um, I don't know why my camera keeps blinking off and on like that but deception and so in regards to the deception uh you have to practice self-love and that is where you change your frequency and started to kind of it says relax but um kind of slow down on the way that you've done things in the past and we're going to see the love situation that you were dealing with again please do me a favor like share subscribe Hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Those all came out wrong. I think I broke my my finger right here. I mean, I might not have. I might have sprained it, but it's hard for me to shuffle the cards. Um, not like this, but to do this with the cards. Because every time I open my finger up, I mean my hand up, it uh, hurts so bad. But anyway, yeah, so I end up having to let the cards go because it, it starts to hurt. But anyway, the situation is... A mental breakdown so a mental prison okay overthinking creating scenarios thinking of you a lot so you were overthinking when it came to yeah uh, certain situations and you had to deception and you had to turn around and heal not budging uh, it says not budging and betrayal so this could be somebody that wasn't budging when it came to uh, dealing with um, a situation or a relationship that you were in could be you know something friends family uh, take what resonates but Again, you had to look at a situation for what it was and move forward, yeah, and focus on yourself, water energy, which is your energy. It says resources, wealth, opportunities. It says serious, um, sensitive, and concerned. Yeah, us all day, water signs, right? Initiative, set off, set, set off strive, for, strive for, and it says be optimistic. And this says reevaluating needs, self-care, self-love, and moving forward. So this is the healing that you had to have time. Forgettable scars and accumulation is here, and it also is not budging shows here. And then we're going to pull, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and pull some other cards. Uh, I'm going to pull from the Messengers of the Heart and the Breakup Oracle just because it seems like you are in a situation to where you walked away or uh, you had to get away from something in regards to love. So give me a second. I'm going to go ahead and pull um, the cards here. Hold on one second. Let's see. So we're going to pull from the Breakup Oracle deck and the Messengers of the Heart to see what comes out because at some point, you know, you had to heal and you had to heal from a situation. And, you know, if this is in regards to a breakup, um, yeah, if this is in regards to a breakup, I want to get more energy and more to see what it was that you had to go through. Uh, yeah, focusing on yourself. Again, focus comes out twice. Yep, focus comes out twice, and it's not for you. So the universe is saying that whatever the situation is, it's not for you. And that is sometimes hard to deal with. I can't, I'm, I'm stop. I'm not going to put my card decks on the table anymore because it's not enough room, but I'll put the bottom of the deck here so we can look at that in a different light. So the universe is telling you to focus on yourself. The messages of love, excuse me, messages of the heart is, are, is telling you, yeah, healing. All of this is in regards to you healing from a situation to where you felt like there was deception bottom of the deck is yeah unfounded fear so there was unfounded fear in regards to this this kept you stagnant breaking through yeah breakthrough you had a breakthrough it says they're at the end of their of a big healing cycle coming to peace with their past and bringing back balance in the connection but the unfounded fear this is what you had to do this could be in regards to the deception that was at hand and uh what you had to do when it came to the unfounded fear it says they, have, they are afraid to trust and get hurt 
the illusion is keeping them locked in anxiety, unable to act upon their love. So not for you. This type of energy is not for you. So the universe said, you know what? It's time for you to focus on yourself. The mental prison is what they're in, which is causing you to start to overthink and create scenarios in your head about what it is that and why people feel this way. So you had to change your frequency when it came to dealing with certain situations. Yeah, suppression. Yeah, this is you burdens. This is the burdens that you had in regards to isolation. So you started to create a different scenarios and started to isolate yourself from everybody. But now it's time for you to have a rebirth to, to move forward, to be able to get out of these situations. Sorry, my microphone is turned a certain way to get out of these certain situations that's causing you um, some type of energy of um, pulling yourself down, you know, of, of really understanding what's tying you down, what's keeping you from all the different opportunities and now the universe is telling you to focus on yourself and to change your frequency because nine times out of ten it's not you that's causing you to feel this way it's other people's in their energy this card try to come out yeah so you were unsure about how to end things the reckoning is here a narrow escape which is the tower energy full moon yeah there is going to be a full moon but you have to take a leap in regards to the way that you feel having a new beginning and also within uh, you being able to move forward. It says full moon, illuminated subconscious, timing one month or next next full moon, which is coming up. And then also, um, actually it just passed. The full moon just passed. Uh, emotional awareness, climax, move on, cycles, completions. So you had to have some type of completion when it came to, yeah, the attachments, strings attached, the things that keep you bonded, bound, bound held down and also, nine of wands, choosing your battles. You know, this is the ten of, nine of wands in the reverse. Normally, it would be, you know, the burdens here, but this is, or you setting boundaries, right? But this is you choosing your battles from what it is by you changing your frequency and having a rebirth. So that's kind of how the situation is. I'm going to pull from the spiritual uh, gifts uh, deck to see what gifts you were using to try to help you. This could be you going to uh, look at at tarot it could be you you know trying to manifest with crystals it could be certain situations that yeah plant medicines yeah and also discernment you had to use discernment plant medicines could be anything from taking herbs from changing the way you do things um i haven't taken diameticulous earth um I'm, I'm saying that wrong diamond i forget how you say it i've been taking that because i'm doing a cleanse but yeah coaching trying to do something different but every day i take other herbs um anything from ashwagandha to um turmeric to uh red clover those types of things um i take on a daily basis so that could be you trying to familiarize yourself with certain herbs to kind of get you uh uh, better health spend time in nature yeah so good plant medicine it could be you getting plants and putting them in your house you don't necessarily have to take any herbs that's just me but it says retreat from your busy life and connect to the wildlife and mother earth it's uh in its raw and beautiful form soul awakening yeah this is you again taking a leap for yourself and also changing your frequency karmic lessons based upon the karmic lessons that you've been through soul incarnate into the human experience to resolve past life experiences work through any painful lessons and turn them into opportunities for growth and that is what you're doing and that's what a part of coaching is uh, or the universe is telling you it's coaching you to look at things to understand what your fears are to understand what you've been dealing with and understand the deception that's causing you to have be in a mental prison to suppress suppress yourself and to stop you from moving forward the universe is saying heal and focus on yourself it could be you dealing with somebody else but you're a free spirit it says setting out spontaneous adventurous idealistic uh, potential carefree opportunity and the unknown you like the unknown but for some reason moon energy right that's you um worried being worried about the unknown that's you um you know having to really remember and focus on certain situations and see what's keeping you from ending or starting or beginning and that's where the universe is saying change your frequency have a soul awakening understand that you know the universe has your back but you have to be able to start there first you have to be able to make the move first nobody can make it for you and sometimes it's easier said than done and it's hard to be able to manifest certain things um let me go ahead and pull from the uh Lenormand deck my cards are dusty uh let me go ahead and pull from the Lenormand deck now this is two decks in the same decks one is pink and one is black 
but uh, it came to me like this, so I just kept it like this. So this is the Lenormand Fortune Telling Card Deck by Island Time Wellness. Um, yeah, this is you just being able to get through and to see what it is that you need to do and what you need to focus on. And sometimes it's like you don't know where to start. So the sun, which is kind of in the reverse in the heart, which is unsure, you don't know what to focus on if you should be focusing on your heart or focusing on growth. And so the thing is, is that, you know, you have to be able to love yourself and focus on yourself and change your frequency in order for there to be growth. Uh, and if not, you'll just keep repeating the same energies over and over again. The card that turned over, card number 29, is woman. You or some type of that, some person that is a mothering energy, look, this card tried to come out. Um, birds, yeah. Uh, date, meeting, talking, info or messages coming. And it uh, comes and then it says gossip. So you're changing the way you do things. You're pulling yourself back in order for you to feel connected to the stars, psychic, inspired, lucky, expansion. Same with the moon, the unknown, you know, moving forward and knowing that it's an emotional awareness. The star's energy says, hold on, let me read it to you. The star energy says, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. let me find it. Hold on one second. Oh, no matter what the situation you find yourself in, it's always hope. Have faith, be optimistic, and focus on self-care. That's what you're doing. You're focusing on self-care. That's what this is, focusing and changing your frequency because you have the keys to be able to get through these situations. Again, like I told you, these cards are all the same. Um, pink cards are the same as the black cards, but these are the cards that came out. So to me, the ones that's in reverse is the sun energy. There is a lack of growth in your past energy and so for you to focus on that and to be optimistic and to know what's holding you down and keeping you in a mental prison you have to be able to release that to let go that even though your intuitive nature as a uh, as i'm not going to say as a woman because this could be for male or female but your intuitive nature when it comes to your uh ability to nurture to be an empath to can to be considered you know somebody who cares too much um, which is never you caring too much. It's your karmic energy, the karmic, the karmic energy that comes towards you that makes you keep trying to let people see their the good in themselves. And the deception comes in with people. You actually start to overthink who you really are and what you've got, what you what you know you've been on this earth for, and what's your passion. And it causes you to 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 not want to nurture things. So it causes you to do things out of anger. And so the universe and, and to isolate yourself. And so that's what fear does. The unfounded fear causes you to isolate yourself. The unfounded fear and situations of um, deception comes from people um, spewing their energy onto you, if that makes sense. And so that is where the universe is telling you, you have to change that. If this is in regards to love situations, whatever it is, I'm gonna pull from this card deck. I don't know the name of this, but if it's in regards to love, um, you have to, be able to see what's holding you back. If this is in regards to any situation about you loving and overextending yourself, because see, your heart is becoming um, fractured. That's what I'm going to say. And if you don't change that, you see all the cracks in here. If you don't change the way you feel and you don't, and you start isolating yourself, you're going to start uh, staying stagnant and, and not moving forward when it comes to the things that you really want out of life, you know, or in life. And so, yeah, it's necessary for us to maintain a distance. So you have to distance yourself. The truth was a bitter pill to swallow. And that is what it is. You have to distance yourself and focus on yourself, change your frequencies and, you know, understand that certain things are not for you, especially if it comes to love. I know I've been distracting you. So again, somebody has been distracting you based on their deception, but they're not going to come out and say, I'm distracting you because I think that you can, you're powerful, you believe in yourself, and I don't have that same, they're never going to come out and say that, so the mental prison is what you're putting yourself in by overthinking, if that makes sense, and so that's kind of how I see that energy, you have to be able to change and do things uh, for yourself um, in a different light, so um, yeah, I just believe that that's something that we've all been working on, and, you know, especially when it comes to things that keeps us stagnant, you know, we hate to admit that yeah, domestic harmony. So, yeah, this is in regards to a relationship abundance. Yeah, we hate to, you know, believe card 88 could mean something, 8 plus 8 is 16. Um, but the thing is, is that we have to understand what 
the synchronicities are of keeping us stagnant and also what's stopping us from being abundant. And it says domestic harmony, card number 46. 46 could be something. 32 is music. You know we love music. And compassion, 99, what we're passionate about. But the adventure is what we really love. The adventure keeps us going no matter how somebody uh, feels or treats us, we keep going and keep manifesting and keep being abundant. And people don't like that. And so therefore, their thing comes in is like, how does cancer always stay happy? How does cancer feel always? Um, how does cancer always uh, snap back from other things or whatever? And so the reason why is because we kind of focus on the things that we love and we take leaps to do things that we love until we get to somebody that keeps us stagnant. And so that's where you really have to get to a situation I'm going to pull from these cards. I haven't used these cards in a while. Um, I think it's the Soul. Hold on. Soul Truth. Yeah. The Soul Truth deck. Yeah. But we have to be able to make us. Sorry. That was loud. We have to be able to make a decision to move forward. No matter what somebody else is going through, we can try to help as much as we can. Am I on the right path? Yeah. Am I on the right path? And what are the dominant emotions that run in my life? Um, and that's what it is. It's It's the... Things that keep us isolated, you know, am I on the right path? It says, it says, sometimes we second guess what we are doing. We lose trust in the process and question if we are even on the right path at all. Know this, you are on the right path. Keep going, keep believing, keep remembering that you made a soul contract that you are currently fulfilling in every area of your life. Even if you can't see it, that doesn't mean it's not real. Today, soul action. Today, search for all the ways you are aligned with your soul's purpose the signs will appear. Let the newfound trust fuel your next step. And that's you changing your frequency and understanding that some things are not for you. And yes, you are on the right path. So there you have it. Let's go ahead and pull from the crystal deck and then we'll pull um, from the four agreements. And uh, if you want to know my perspective, the four agreements and also the chakras and the crystal, you know, from the crystals, then uh, click the links up above. We have... Doo -doo -doo -doo. I have all of these cards everywhere, so give me a minute. Um, always do your best. Honor yourself. And that's what the universe is. Focus on yourself. Honor yourself. Understand that some things are just not for you, and you have to change your frequency no matter what it is. It says, honor the man or woman that, that you are. Take the risk to express your dreams. Take act Taking action is about fu living fully and expressing what you are. So, yes, you are on the right path. You have to honor yourself and focus on yourself. And also, you have to understand that, no matter what somebody else feels about you or um, their perception of you or the things that you do and the way that you love, just know that love is a part of your path. You just have to find the people who complete you and not deplete you and who are not toxic. And if you already dealt with toxic energies, then you have to know that some things are just not for you and it's time for you to move forward. Stop, stop negotiating whether you should um, leave or stay. Should I leave or should, should I stay or should I go? You know that song. And so stop doing that to yourself because it's causing you to isolate yourself from moving forward and going from there. So let's go ahead and pull from the crystal deck and go from there. Uh, the green quartz is here, which is the heart chakra. So the heart chakra says abundance, creativity, and empathy. Again, back to the woman, the, the woman here, the nurturer, the one who is the empath, the one who is able to nurture every situation and understand every situation. That's what's causing you to be stagnant because you're understanding. But at that same point, it's nothing wrong with understanding. It's the thing that keeps you stagnant. So it says, I give and receive loving, emp empathetic energy. I give and receive loving, empathetic energy. And that's what you're going to give. And whether it be through whatever, the adventures, music, uh, it says domestic harmony. Um, but, you know, the thing is, is that your emotions that run your life, the dominant emotions that run your life are you having to figure out if you should walk away or not? So that is this reading here. Let's go ahead and let the old energy go, you know, and we're going to do that with the affirmation. And now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.